Can I ask you something? Is there something between love and hatred? We tend to think that indifference, neutrality, is the response to that. I don't love him, I don't hate him, so that's okay. I am indifferent to that person. I don't hate her, I don't love her, so I am neutral, I am indifferent to that. We can say that the first reading of today is killing that idea. There's no middle term between love and hatred. Either you are bringing life or you are carrying death. If you are bringing life to people, that's the work of love. If you are not loving, you're carrying death. And uh, there's a horrible name for you, murderer. Well, that's the name that the scripture, the passage of today, is bestowing on us, unless we are interested in bringing life to people, in bringing love to people. This is what I call a very profound and radical message. Radical in the best sense of the word. I do know that radical has different meanings in different cultures. But what I mean here is radical as connected to root. That's the origin of the word. Radix in Latin means a root, the root of the tree, for example. So the radical teaching here, the teaching that is connected to the root of our Christian faith is that we either bring life or bring death. And the reason seems to be this one, that we all are in need. We all need the support we need prayer and friendship and kindness from other people. And because we are in such need, if that, what we need, is not provided, actually it is all the same as if death would be brought to our lives. Maybe an example could be of some use here. Think of some people in the wilderness, dry landscape, no water at all, there's great need of water, for, for, for example, and you meet someone, or better, someone meet you, and that person is dying of thirst. So you have two possibilities. If you bring some water, to this thirsty person, you're bringing life. If you deny that water, you're bringing death. You're actually killing the man. So that's the only possibility. When we realize that life is similar to crossing the desert, crossing the wilderness, when we realize that that's the meaning of life, that's the true situation of life, I mean. You realize that not loving people is denying that kind of water that they need. And that's actually killing them. But we have received plenty of water, plenty of water of life from God. And we, I hope, are ready to offer the same we have received to our brothers.